Okay, I'm back. Hello. Yeah, this is Slimy Space Penis ET. It had to load. There's a loading screen for the demo level, which looked like bacon. That was just bacon. Um, so you would wonder, the game ET on the Atari 20 something hundred, whatever it was, there's a number of ETs uh, or Ataris that have numbers that range in the thousands, as far as I can tell. That was a little before my time. But there was an ET game that almost crashed the entire video game market. It's a famous story. It's um, AVGN made a movie based on it. So why would they venture? This is like years after ET was even popular. This this game came out in. I'm looking for the date. Hang on. Uh, there's no date on the back of the case. So I'm assuming it's timeless as a result. Let's just say in the, the late 90s, right, when PlayStation was whatever. Okay, so late now. Oh my god, I don't want to spoil this game for me. Um, oh, that was you that sent me this American noob? Thanks. So why would they take a chance with E.T. again? No one was clamoring for an E.T. game. No one wanted this. Except me. I want to take him home. The space penis needs to get to his space vagina. We're gonna do this. We're gonna fertilize with our head. Oh my god. Why is he holding flowers? What was that in the E.T. movie? Oh, I remember when E.T. was a true romantic and he brought his loved one flowers. Okay, so uh, healing, hold circle to heal and collect funnels, jock straps, blue jock straps on the back of. I'm really trying here. It looks like lizards, li lizard snails have jock straps on them. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the camera whips around. Look at that whiplash. Just whipping it all over the place. What is this voice? Oh my god, look at E.T. Look at that, it's fucking curmudgeon. What the fuck is this game? Am I going to have to hear that voice every time? Okay, I, I have telekinesis too, of course. Of course I have telekinesis. Going to the fucking rave. There's some kind of like immense sexual pleasure his his neck shaft is getting when he gets those things. Okay, we're we're running into problems, guys. Okay, so think about the directions on the PlayStation D-pad. Right, there's left, right, up. And down. Right? When I use the analog stick, you get... You would think you would have precision control. Nope. I am moving the analog stick in the direction of that ramp. And I'm going left. The only way to go up that ramp is to pull a sharp up on the uh, analog stick. Wow. Ugh. Uh, 
Okay, heart's done. So, this is just like the E.T. movie. I remember the E.T. movie that was like, what, 20, 15 years? Prior to, to this game? Remember when E.T. had to use his heart, heart thump? To collect mushrooms? Do you remember when that old classic, in that old classic E.T. flick? Oh, 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 oh. He had to, he had to use his red finger. Oh, is that a taco? Oh, look, guys, it's a taco. Oh, I thought it was a taco. It's, a, it's an extra life. All right, so there's bananas blocking my path. Giant bananas. But fear not, because I can place enemies. Oh, fuck. What a mistake. What a mistake that was. Okay, we're gonna go up the ramp. Gonna go up the ramp now. Fuck. <laughs> gonna... Oh. I'm not playing this up. That was a fucking miracle that I made it up that ramp. I'm gonna fall off. Yes, get the pleasure from it. Oh, oh, why does E.T. sound like a pedophile? E.T., please. Oh. Oh. He sounds like an old man. Like, just like a, like a really, like, old, tired man. Whose body just so happens to be a potato. The hunchback of fucking potato. Notre Dame potato. There's no pun there that, that could feasibly work. Collect what? What do I have to do? I mean, you couldn't. I can't face it. What? What is? Is this a pumpkin? What is this? A gourd? What? What the fuck? What kind of landscape am I in? There's half bananas. There's gourds, and there's pumpkins, but they're like. Big. I don't understand this. That's a tutorial. Press R2 to run. Oh, come on. I missed the mushrooms. Yeah, you can't even fucking a aim to get these mushrooms without going in the wrong direction. E.T. E. Dead. <sighs> Alright. Alright, we're gonna get the mushrooms. What is this supposed to be? These look like like rotten bananas or like like rotten coke like rotten pineapples cut in half. Okay, pick up with square and then again to set down. Oh my god. All these different mechanics. How am I supposed to remember this? Okay, close your eyes, everyone. Close your eyes. Just get a visual. With all the sound effects that you hear right now. What would you think this was? Just, just cu out of curiosity. What would you think that was if I didn't have a visual to go along with it in the form of this game? Not pleasant. Not pleasant. No ticket. So yes, I remember in the E.T. movie when E.T. had to battle his way through Kumquat land and collect tree stumps 
and run from giant Munka Munka monsters. It was a uh, it was a strange time, the early '80s. But you know we're here. We all live through it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, to think these ET this ET franchise has endured thirty long years. Why am I so slow? Oh, it was a cutscene. Hmm. Uh, do we need to save? No, we don't need to save. <laughs> you silly. Botanicus 2. Is this an alien planet? Or is this Earth? There are things that look like Earth, like gourds. And pumpkins. But... Then there's Botanicus 2. That doesn't sound like Earth. That sounds like a... Some kind of space planet. I, I don't know how much more of this I can tolerate. Oh. Gotta, gotta be honest. Oh. Scientologists oh. actually believe this. Oh. 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 Okay! Okay! Get away from me! Oh, the controls. Okay, at least I get to put my finger in, in a fucking funnel. This is a PS1 game, for those that are curious. This is, I'm actually playing this on a PS2. This is legit. And the mushroom just got dipped in the poison water. And so did E.T. I got cheaped out by a fucking space porcupine. Yep, there it goes again. Oh, please! Okay. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a ramp there. You can't kill these guys. You can only stun them. Let's see? You have to, like, get... But, but how are you cheap? You cheap motherfucker. You saw what I did. I play- I- I placed him. In a different location. You fucking- Oops. Whore. Okay. Please. Okay. Can I kill this thing? Can I kill- I can kill my mushrooms! Yes, I- I realize I just said kill my mushrooms. I can kill them, but can I kill the enemies? Cause that would make all the difference. Okay. Okay, the- the controls in this game are absolutely horrible and frustrating. But, I mean, did you expect any less? Or any more, rather? Okay, so... Here's the thing. This object- okay. I thought I had to use, like, telepathy. Never mind, we got this. We got this. Okay. PLEASE! Alright, so that's E.T. Are there cheat codes? Like, maybe I can skip levels? That was... frustrating. I didn't save. Let's see, I'm actually curious. E.T. PS1 game cheat codes. Just out of curiosity. Oh, there's that classic theme. Uh, this actually cheapens this, this amazing theme. John Williams, right? Um, looking. E.T. extraplanetary... interplanetary mission, sorry. There's no data for this game. N no one cares about this game. Gamewinners.com doesn't even have anything for it. And they have everything. Okay, I've never heard of Gamewinners.com, but that's okay. E.T. 
cheat codes. Hold control. Then use the la left mouse button. <sighs> God damn it. Alright, so I don't think there's any cheat codes for this game. There's PC cheat codes. Mm -hmm. Let's hear. This is good. Now I can watch the game be played without having to play it. This is like a giant interplanetary fast food place, and the ET's on the grill right now. In terms of level design, that's the best I can do. Like, he is the main course. <sighs> I'm not going to be able to unhear that. I'm going to be hearing that noise. That, that wretched sound effect of E.T. going, getting him, his rocks off. It's going to be all night. Okay, let's wait for one more demo. We'll see one more set of levels, or one more level. And then I'm done with this game. And then we'll move on to the next game. Because I don't feel like playing any more of this crap. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, God, E.T. Okay. Let's load. Oh, it's loading a level we've seen already, so never mind. Someone said there's a cheat where you can put the disc in the microwave for 10 minutes and then inhale the vapors. Do not try this at home. But that sounds like a good cheat code. Oh, you can kill them. You have to stun them with your heart. You have to stun them with love. And I've had enough of E.T. Interracial extraordinaire. No signal. Up next is a game called Hooters Road Trip. The sadistic bastard that sent this to me, I forgot who you are, but I want you to know I'm actually really, really pleased that you sent this to me because uh, it looks it looks better than E.T. Let's see if I'm wrong. It's another PS1 game. And, you know, I'm hoping that it's going to be great. So let's do this. I hear static. Ubisoft? Wait, Ubisoft? Hey, you guys need more reasons to hate Ubisoft lately? Here's one for you. Ah, oh, good old Hoplite Research. They have so many classic series. In association with this JPEG of Hooters logo. Look at those graphics. Hooters presents... Candy! Vixen! Hooters Road Trip. Michante! And a bunch of Hooters girls just having a good old time at their job. It's not a job, it's a way of life. You see, they're having a great time. Come have some wings. This game isn't an advertisement. Yeah, also, go fuck yourself. So, let's let's just put some hot women with exposed cleavage on a, on a video game. Alright, well, maybe this game will be about said cleavage. Oh no, it's just a racing game. going on a road trip guys look at all this hooter stuff that's going on here we're going on a road we can choose a whole three cars i'm gonna go for i'm gonna go for the uh gemini because it's got a good top speed we'll, we'll do automatic because 
I don't feel like learning this game's mechanics. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff, baby. Move on, sister. One. Hooters! Oh, God, no, the controls, please. Oh, they're so bad. They're so bad. Oh, they're so touchy. Oh, this is, this is awful. Try steering a freight train with your dick, and you know what it's like to play this game. Yes, the freight train is on rails. Oh, guys, guys, the controls are so fucking terrible. You make a little movement, it doesn't work. And then after you make a... Nice physics. After you make a bigger movement... Hang on, after you make a bigger movement... You lower the volume a bit. You, you go too much. That didn't lower the music. I just did it again while I was actually racing. That's how much I care about this race. The pop-in is just a... Oh. I mean, guys, Gran Turismo was a PS1 game. Take a look at Gran Turismo if you want to see a game on the PS1 of this genre that looks good. There is no excuse. But the controls are by far the worst. Where, where are the breasts and wings and beer? Where, where's all the things that make Hooters what it is? They were probably like, hey, what else do guys like that we can make a video game out of? I don't know, racing? Cars? Perfect! Do we know how to make a car racing game? No. Perfect! Just slap some bullshit together and get the chef to program the game. They got the, the guy who cooks the wings, to no, reheats the wings, to program this game. And now it all makes sense. Yeah, nice, oh yeah, nice crash. Okay, 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 okay. Is this Swampland? Guys, am I racing through a swamp? In order to steer the car without crashing into everything, you have to gently thumb the D-pad. Alright, let me say that again. You have to gently thumb the D. In order to race without crashing into everything. I realize what I just said. Where is this? Who's in first place? I didn't see. Hey there. Welcome to Jacksonville. Okay. Is that it? All right. Greetings <laughs> <laughs> from Jacksonville. Here. This is what we have here. A fucking like alligator. We have alligators. Enjoy your stay. Fuck face. Alligators and Hooters girls, apparently. Uh, one more race, guys. That's all I can handle. Let's see how the game handles the big city. Oh, wait, no, we're not in the big city. We're in Jacksonville. D didn't you hear about them crocodiles? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Nice, nice, nice stuff. That, how that truck just fucking... Let's not... Let's not do that. Let's just focus on the road. Let's focus on the road. Okay, we're in farmlands. Right, we're in farmlands. There's OJ Simpson's vehicle. We're gonna just pass him. Alright. Guys, I realized something. You don't have to actually... I'm gonna not press the D-pad at all. 
check this out. I am no longer actively racing. Not doing too bad, right? Not bad for someone who's not touching the D-pad at all. I managed to lose a few positions, but I was more or less, you know, on the road. Okay, there's OJ again. Alright, let's just, uh... Yeah, these nice tight roads. I like a racing game with finicky controls and a nice tight road. That way when I'm racing, I can crash into every wall. There you go. There you go. This is the movie game for Furious 8. Right now, I'm Rock Diesel. I've, se <laughs> I've been sent to protect the world from aliens. And only through a street race against Han am I allowed... A Han Solo, that is. Am I allowed to win and protect the world? God, I have no intention of visiting Jacksonville. If this is what Jacksonville looks like, you guys... I feel bad for you. All you got is cows and the same fucking thatched roof bridge. And how many O.J. Simpsons really are in Jacksonville? Seriously, do we need that many? Uh, okay, I'm in third place, and there is no catching up to whoever's in first and second. All right, there's a nice truck. Thanks, truck. I mean, this is supposed to be Jacksonville, I think. Or or maybe, yeah, I think this is Jackson. I drove from Jacksonville to another city. All right, so now I'm in the new city. What city am I in now? Hi, y'all. Welcome to Georgia. How are you doing, sugar? Yeah, yeah you place third. Guys. Guys, what? What, what the f what the fuck am I playing? I, I mean, I, I, I just had to walk away from the computer for a second. I had to walk away. Okay. It said Phoenix, Arizona, someone said. Alright, guys. I went from Jacksonville to Georgia. All... That's in between Jacksonville, Florida, and Georgia. It's just farms. Yay, you placed third, but you 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 failed. Custom road trip. Let's see, Fort Lauderdale Dale to Jackson. Tra traffic on. I guess we'll go from Raleigh to Jacksonville, I guess. I don't <sighs> Didn't we do that? Maybe is this do we do this already? We did this, right? I can't tell. It looks like Looks like someone, like, wiped their ass and used that to texture the game. It's like shit smear the game. Okay, I, 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 don't, I think I did this already, guys. Eh, crackle. Some good crackle. I just want to see the fucking cutscenes. Jacksonville to Atlanta. So we did Fort Lauderdale to Jacksonville. Jacksonville to Atlanta, then there's Jacksonville to Raleigh. So maybe we didn't do that. I don't even fucking know. But these, yeah, these are the games, uh, the, the levels. Yep. Fort Lauderdale to Jacksonville. All the way to rally. 
Las Vegas, Santa Monica, Phoenix, Corpus Christi. I bet Corpus Christi to Phoenix takes five seconds. I like how there's some people that don't know what a Hooters is, and another person was like, it's just a restaurant with sexy women. Yeah, pretty much. Um, let's, let's license a car. Come on, this way to the test track. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Professional. Think about how much money they spent to get these ladies to say these lines. Oh my god, this car handles like shit! Oh my god, this... I thought the last one was bad. This one is... This one is at least double, double bad, guys. Nice. Good. Get stuck on the level. Get stuck. Oh, it's so bad! God damn it. Come on. Come on. Stop. I need to get my license. I need a Hooters girl to tell me I did good. I need validation from a Hooters girl. I'm gonna get it. She's gonna tell me how great I am, and then I'm gonna sit down and have some wings and get exploited. You really, really can't. You, like, seriously, you cannot play this game if you're heavy handed with uh, your racing games, because you have to, like, lightly tap the direction you want to go in. Very lightly. Well, check this out, watch. This is me holding left for one second. Not even. A quarter of a second I held left for, guys. Oh, please. Okay. I don't know how they could... I don't know how they could get away with something like this. Let me try the analog stick. The analog stick is... Not worse. It's, it's bad in its own way. Like, when I turn the um, analog on... I have to correct myself. Every movement I make, I have to correct myself. Like, so if I go left, I have to, like, kind of, like, flick. I have to flick it. <laughs> it's not an innuendo. I have to flick it to the left a bit, then flick it to the right a bit, <laughs> then flick it to the left more. <sighs> okay, I'm almost there, guys. I just have to do this. I have 40 seconds. I, this is not the time to be fucking around with control methods. I gotta do this. I need I need the Hooters girls to tell me how great I am. And how handsome I am. I need them to advertise with their with their cleavage. Advertise to me my, my vixens, my sweet vixens from outer space. Oh, it's terrible. Everything about this game makes me want to punch myself in the face. Three, two, one, yes! One second! That was a good enough performance to get my license. Whoa. Wait, there's no cutscene. Oh, fucking... God damn it, what a waste. I like how handling is very high on this vehicle. And it's probably the worst handling thing I've ever played in any video game. Come on, this way to the test track. Hey, we did this cutscene already.
Also, I think I heard her boss in the background talking business. This game is a dead end. I don't think I can play any more of this. It's going to take too long to get the cutscenes. And I have no patience for that. And it seems like... You have to do... The road trips in order to do a custom road trip. So there you go. That's the Hooters game. That's it. That's all there is. I would love to show you more, but I can't. Reg says, go down to Hooters with your webcam and live stream the experience. That's crazy enough that it might work. Also, let me take a look at this instruction manual for the Hooters game. So, in it are... Like, you know when people get too much plastic surgery and they look like a, like a fake person? They look CG? That's the level of Uncanny Valley of some of the people, or, or women, in, in the instruction manual. Like, they're showing these, like, sexy, computer-modeled women, and they just look horrifying. There's a um, Hooters Road Trip Warranty Registration Card. Title of the game you just bought. Who selected this product? My grandparent bought this for me. <laughs> How did you find out about it? How many hours a day do you spend playing this game? Less than one hour. How many hours a day do you spend playing games online? One to three hours. Oh, fuck this. Um, there's options in the instruction manual. There's... It tells you the road trips. Cars. And on the back, there's sexy women. Oh, 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 there's another game. It's called... What the fuck is this called? Vio? V-I-O? Starring Pamela Anderson? It's a PlayStation 1 game. Starring Pam Anderson. By the way, this game came out 2001. That's what it says on the manual. 2001. So, you just witnessed a game from 14 years ago. 14. That's it. Just 14. That same year, GameCube came out. And Rogue... Rogue uh, what was it? Rebel... Rebel Strike. Rogue Squadron, Rebel Strike. Same year. Compare the difference. Oh, Rogue Leader. I'm sorry. Rogue Leader was the name of the game. VIP? Is that the name of it? I thought it said Vio. It was very unclear. VIP. Yeah, it's VI. Oh my god, that does not look... Guys, look at this. Just for a minute. I just put in the next game, but just take a look at this. I thought it said Vio. Or Mo. But I guess it makes sense, VIP. Sure, why not? This next game is called Fugitive Hunter. War on Terror. Track America's most wanted fugitives. And on the front... There's a lot of, um, there's a guy that looks like Ice Cube. There's someone that, that looks like Osama Bin Laden, someone that looks like Saddam Hussein, someone that looks like a molester, another guy who looks like a crazy Russian guy with like, you know, like someone from, um, the movie Snatch. What was that guy's name? That actor. And another guy who looks like a constipated Mr. Clean. You know what? Maybe you should see this. It's hard to see this because the lighting is so terrible, but. Here. So there's Ice Cube. There's the guy from Snatch. This guy's constipated. There's Chubby Saddam. 
uh, this guy farted, I guess. And there's Pirate Osama. So these are the terrorists that we got to stop. All right. Are you guys excited yet? I'm not. I don't want, I don't want to insert a memory card. I'm not going to save your fucking stupid game. Yeah, proceed. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Explosions? Already? At the dawn of the 21st century, the number of fugitives wanted by the FBI soared to record levels. Oh, my Federal God. Federal agencies were overwhelmed with unsolved cases. Fugitives became more dangerous and unpredictable. And paranormal. The top 10 most wanted were increasingly linked to terrorism. This emergence of worldwide terror networks caused unprecedented casualties abroad and at home. To deal with this crisis, Congress orders the creation of Cypher. Cypher? Criminal Interdiction and Fugitive Recovery Task Force. Isn't a character from Final Fantasy VIII? Hosted by the State Department, Cypher's primary objective is to hunt down the world's most elusive oh, and that dangerous was Bin Laden. fugitives and bring them in alive. Handpicked by the military to lead Cypher's alpha team, <laughs> Jake Sieber is a veteran of counterterrorism Jake Sieber. and urban warfare. Yes, America! In 1999, America! Clap, everybody! COVID clap! mission was launched yeah. to hunt down and capture top Al-Qaeda leaders. Sieber was assigned to this mission on the Afghan-Pakistani border. How exploitative is this shit? This came out 2002 and 2003. Why, why are there two dates on this? I'm just leaving it on easy. I'll tell you why, because I'm assuming it's going to be dicks. The controls are going to be dicks. Let's see as much of the game as possible. I don't need to put a shovelware game on hard. All right, you can stop clapping now. 1999 covert mission was launched to hunt down and capture Al-Qaeda leaders. Seaver was assigned to this mission on Afghanistan-Pakistan border. I've got a visual on LZ Raven. We're taking fire. They waste no time. Right into the action. <laughs> yes! Yeah, using an RPG to shoot one... To shoot one man. A terrorist is so fucking badass that he's gonna use an RPG to try to shoot one guy. Grenades. Stay calm. Remember the training. Also, what is this guy wearing? Is that standard issue American uniform? Okay, this guy kicks so hard. Oh, I thought he killed him. I didn't kill him. Out of ammo. Oh, you know what we gotta do, boys. For freedom! And America! Take a nap. I'm, I'm glad the game is handled tastefully, you know, in this... A year after 9-11, this game comes out, and, and the main character is like Duke Nukem with his one-liners. Controls are not as bad as the previous two games. However, by first-person shooter standards on a console, it sucks. Look, I don't think I'm supposed to go this way, so I'm not even gonna- I'm not gonna go that way. How do you- how do you do this? can't zoom in. There's no zoom feature. Guys, this was where it all started. Alright, the Call of Duty franchise started here. Who would have known? 
This will become the most powerful, most emotionally thrilling genre of all time. The shootsy, the terrorist genre. Oh, thank God I got an RPG-7. There's tons of... There's tons of tanks and stuff that need to be blown up. Nah, just men. Just blow them up. That's cool. I picked up an extra so continue, terrible. guys. You know, when you're hunting terrorists, it's always good to have an extra continue. I gotta get out of here. All right, so... What are these explosions? This endless supply of terrorists. And just explosions that come out of nowhere. I still don't know how to zoom. Okay, that was weird. That made no sense. Guys, what is happening? Oh, there's a feature that automatically turns you around. Oh, there's a lock-on feature. All you have to do is hold square. It sucks because it doesn't actually work. Like, you have to still... I can't believe yeah. the team's gone. Grenade launcher? This soon? Don't you usually get this on, like, like the final level? Starting us off quick. Gotta take out those RPGs. Okay. That's not happening. Holy sucks. fuck. I gotta get through this. It sucks, I gotta get through this. He's <laughs> You just killed a flamethrower! <laughs> what? what? Oh my god! Some homing grenades. Oh, homing grenades? What do you mean homing grenades? Vinny, read the screen. Press X to detonate. Oh yeah, there you go. Alright, I got it. We didn't even start the fucking game yet, for all intents and purposes. I already have a flamethrower, a rocket launcher, and a grenade launcher. A sniper- I got every major weapon. The only thing I don't have is a pistol, which is usually what you get in the first level of a video game. So look at this detailed account of Afghanistan here. Double kill, triple kill. Holy shit. Oh boy. One year after 9-11, we got this. And the nation was set at ease. Is that Link? Guys, I'm hearing a noise every now and then that sounds like Link. Look at all those power-ups I just got. TV-guided grenades. I like how when you lock onto the enemies, you can see, you know, they're Al-Qaeda or, or whatever. Like, it shows you what faction they're a part of, so you know exactly who you're getting revenge against. Bullets do nothing to me. I haven't even, like, burned through body armor yet, guys. Okay, this is- this is when a game gives you so many tools that it's actually boring. Like, I'm bored. Even though there's tons of enemies, tons of ways to kill them. I'm so fucking bored. Oh my 
God. I actually really, really, really like Call of Duty now compared to this. Like, I'm all for it. If someone was like, Vin, play a Call of Duty game, I would not protest. Some grenades. Trying to change grenade modes. I found it. Guys, I found it. I found the zoom. Why does a grenade launcher have a zoom? You know what? It doesn't matter. You don't even get a chance. I don't even get a chance to cycle through my shitty weapons. What was blocking my... Guys... It's Osama! Oh god, it was Osama Bin Laden! What is this shit? <laughs> it's a fighting game now! Complete with one-liners and combos and everything. Ah, you like that? How's your ribs? I've been defeated. Wait, wait, hang on. Guys. Some good old fashioned button mashing. Press X repeatedly to capture. Fox One, this is Sierra Five. I've cleared the area. Get me out of here. I'm gonna have to try to hold it steady. You're gonna have to jump. <laughs> This is a brave new game for a post 9-11 world. Thank you so much, whoever made this encore. Uh, may you live long and prosper, encore. Entertainment comp company, corporation. Who the fuck published this? Encore published it. Black Ops developed it? I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Guys, we're going after Bin Laden. Okay. Osama Bin Laden is the known leader and highest ranking member of the Al-Qaeda terrorist organization. He is responsible for the funding, planning, and operation of the group, which has terror cells in over 50 countries. <laughs> Bin Laden travels with an army of elite terrorist soldiers and should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. Jesus Christ. All right, we're going to kill Bin Laden. Osama Bin Laden is the known leader what? and highest ranking member of the Al-Qaeda terrorist organization. Fugitive Richardson is still at large. Capture him before attempting this mission. Oh, fuck off. God damn it. Well, like, I have to go... All right. All right. Jamal Richardson. Don't care. All right. Um, here's the thing. You can't kill Osama unless you kill this guy first and probably every other terrorist 
That's how they keep you playing. Vinny, you can use cheat codes to unlock the Bin Laden mission. This rap music? I ain't got no money, bro. I'm a bust you up. Oh, you gonna bust me up? Let's see about that. Come on, free. Coming in this time. Ah, you like that? Yeah, you like that? Gotcha. Party's over for the posse, pal. Who's tough now, Jamal? Weber's gonna bust you up. Up against the wall. Oh. Alpha One, this is Sierra Five. Fugitive is in custody at my location. Proceeding to next target. Roger that, Sierra Five. I understand. Proceed to next target. Um. Okay, we're gonna um. I'm going to use a cheat code to unlock the Osama Bin Laden mission. Alright, so if you'll just give me a minute. The name of this is Fugitive Hunter. Fugitive Hunter PS2 Cheat Codes. Unlock Bin Laden. Pause the game. Play the Afghanistan-Pakistan border mission. Which one's that? Maybe this one? Dr. Al Noor is the special weapons expert of the Al Qaeda terrorist organization. Pakistan border mission. That's the one I was just on, no? For training. Go to the new game. Right, so I pause it, press circle, 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 square, 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 and this will make, oh, oh, okay. Well, this isn't a new mission, but I think you guys will enjoy this. Gone. Wait until you see how many Bin Ladens I have to kill. Just what I was looking for. Pause the game, press circle, 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 square, square, square. I did that. It's not working. Doing something wrong, I think. Uh... Gotta take out those RPGs. Oh boy. RPGs don't hurt. Also, this... It says title screen. Pause the game to unlock someone. Play the Afghanistan border mission. Pause the game during the mission and press circle, 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 square, square, square. Take a look. Look it up for yourself. It's not the title screen. There's a cheat code thing that you enter on the title screen. But it's not that one. This is a different one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four.
This isn't working. Cheats are now unlocked, including all fugitives. Right, right, I got that. But there's another, there's another cheat that makes, okay, I'll, I'll paste the cheat I'm talking about. This is the one I'm trying to do. Here you go. There you go. That's the one. Read that one in the chat. I've got a Press. On LZ Raven. Okay, I think I had to press R2 at the end of it. That's what someone said. I can't believe the team's gone. So, I can't enter that other one until I get to the title screen. This one's supposed to make every enemy look like Bin Laden, but it's it's not working. So, sucks. I got to get Okay. Look. I'm going to have to do this cuz people get stubborn and they think that I'm doing something wrong. Just just look. Okay. This is the one I'm trying to do, and it's not working. Um, hang on. So, read that. Maybe I missed something. Play the Afghanistan-Pakistan border mission. Pause the game and press circle, 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 square, square, square. This will make every few enemies look like Bin Laden. So, that's the one I'm trying to do which I'm doing 100% correctly. So if anyone else tells you something and, and it's like, oh, Vinny, you should do that. That's not what I'm trying to do. So now you know. And it's not working. So that's awesome. Alright, so every few, same thing, it's fine. Even if it's not all, every few is fine, it's not working though. So, it's clearly the wrong cheat. IGN's gotta get their shit together. I did the R2 thing, and uh, it didn't work. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's just do the other cheat. Okay, we're gonna do the other cheat. Okay, we don't need this cutscene. We don't need this cutscene. We're going to go to special features, cheats. So it says cheats. So on the title screen, enter circle, 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 square, 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 square. Are you sure about that? Because, um,. Circle, 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 square, 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 square. Are you sure about that, Rampio? Two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Are we sure this is the same game? Hang on, we're going back to the title screen. Here's the title screen, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now we got it. Okay. Most wanted fugitives, special features. There we go. Okay. It's not the one I wanted earlier, but. Okay. Let's just very quickly finish this god awful excuse for a video game.
Osama bin Laden is the known leader. Okay, we did this. Now we got this. So the other cheat just didn't work. The other cheat just did not work at all. That was the one I wanted, but that's cool. Okay. Let's just try it here. So it works on this level? Oh, that's cool. It seems to work on this level, which isn't the level IGN said it was. I guess we'll see in a second. What other guns are there in this game? RPG, tack shotgun, sniper rifle, grenade launcher, dragon, and that's it. Oh, we, we already saw all the weapons. Homing grenades. This is just the first level backwards, but with no enemies. What in the ever-loving name of fuck am I looking at? <laughs> what the fuck? That's where all the enemies were. Glitched inside of each other. Amazing. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Alright, yeah, the, the Bin Laden cheat is weird. It's not working. I don't care. We'll, we'll get him soon enough. I don't care. Horrible level design. It's almost as if they think that these caves are real. They are. Nice shotgun with explosions. Okay, well, hey, we, we made it out of the cave. And what do you know? There's nothing here. Oh, we're just looping around. I guess that's fine. No run button or anything like that, right? This is how it went down. When we captured, when the USA captured Osama bin Laden, when we killed him or whatever happened, I don't know what the official story was. I don't even know if I believe it, but whatever. Whatever happened, when it happened, this is exactly how it happened. They sent one man in, Chuck Steak. They sent Edge McKnife fuck with grenade launchers and fucking rocket launchers and they were like, hey, you need to go in, you need to stop this animal. You got this, Chuck? And he was like, I got this. And no Bin Laden down this way. Yeah. Explosions. Marty McFistbank. Cutler. <laughs> Cutler. <laughs> Cutler Lesnar. It really is like real life though, because I can't find him. I have enough of that item. Maybe it's up this way? 
Yeah, ladder climb. No need for hands. He just walks up the rungs. Okay. The audio is crackling because there's too much shit going on. What is happening? I don't know. I found it, I think. This is new. This is new. I can only assume I'm in the right place. Got it. No. TV Extra lights. Huh? Objective complete. Contact air support. There's a button for that. Oh. No. I'm gonna contact air support. <laughs> Bare hands selected. That's all I need. Pressing every button to contact air support. I guess, uh, I guess there is no air support. It sounds like a very strong man. Nap time! Is he saying kill me? <laughs> God. Take a nap now. Take a nap now. Nap time. Guys, it's nap time. Hey, it's me, Nuke Nuka. Follow the mini map? Alright, I can follow the mini map. I'll do that. That sounds like a good idea. I didn't even know I had a mini map because I was too busy focusing on the intense visuals. I want to find Osama Bin Laden. It's not going to happen, is it, guys? I'm never going to find Bin Laden. I'm so pissed. I feel like it's nap time for me right now. Like, I'm playing this game and I'm like, nap time. Knuckle McCrackfuck. I didn't kill Bin Laden already. I, that wasn't him. There's gonna be a punch segment. I'm telling you, that wasn't him. There's another Bin. There's it, that was his, like his decoy or something. Take a nap. Take These a terrorists. Nap now. Take a nap now. These terrorists are so reckless, they just shoot each other in the face with reckless abandon. They don't care. Alright, we're gonna go through this network of caves one more time. One more time. We're gonna advance to the objective. On the mini-map. 
think that's got to be it down there. That's got to be it. How many times are you going to crack your fucking knuckles? Fucking Christ! I can kick to the sky. Take a nap, pal. <laughs> How many different versions of that are in this game? Single-handedly killing every terrorist in the world with my fists and my boot. This door. I I'm so. I, I am so confused, and I'm probably gonna be done with this. I really don't want to resolve this. I don't want to finish this without having killed Bin Laden. But it, it's looking like that might be the direction we're going in. Sadly. Nap. Is this new? No, it's not new. It's the same fucking area from before. Jesus, this place is confusing. Nap time. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. I am so sorry. Is this new? No, it's the entrance. Oh, dear God. I did use the ladder before. There's nothing up there. Take a nap. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're going up this way. Suicide bombers. That's new. That's new. Jesus Christ. These corridors, they all look exactly the same. What about down here? Did I explore every aspect of this? Oh wait, this is new. I haven't been down here. There's a whole other series of caves that I missed. I lied. Oh God, did I ever lie. It's the same fucking room. Uh, oh, oh, my brain hurts. My brain hurts. Take a nap, pal. I can see it. I can see the objective. It's right there. It's like right there. You see it, guys? It's right there. It's out of my reach. I'm not stopping until I fucking do this. We're going up that ladder. I'm gonna do it. Give me another five minutes. If I don't do it in five minutes, then I'll switch games. <laughs> Holy shit, he says. It's so inappropriate. Everything about this game is so inappropriate. Guys, I'm climbing this ladder with one foot. One foot! There is nothing up this ladder. Okay, alright. The objective that is forever out of reach. 
forever unobtainable. Just no, no. You just when you think you're gonna get there, it's not there. Then you just go through the same caves that you've been through a thousand times. Fuck this game. Fuck everything about this game. Fuck its main character, Steak McCutler Jump Knife. It's not been five minutes yet. It's not been five minutes yet, though, guys. Also, this gun has a flame... flame grenade. It's got a fucking flame incendiary round. Alright, last go in the caves. Final, final go. I'm gonna find something new, guys, and we're gonna get it. We're gonna get through this. We're going to do this! Trying to call in air support. Oh. Blow up the door, everyone's saying. Oh, you guys, you overestimate this. You think this game is what it's not. Now, see, now, like, two people say blow up the door, now everyone's saying blow up the door. It's not happening. It's over. We're done. We're never gonna fight Osama Bin Laden. He wins. He, he won. And yet again, the terrorists win. It's on the path. You looked right at it. Vinny, go back to the beginning. No, I'm, I think I'm done with this game. I think I'm done with this game. Here. This is my last attempt. My final attempt. I was there before. Uh, it's over. I'm sorry, guys. This game blows massive dick. We'll never find out. We'll never know. Unless I YouTube it right now. Fugitive Hunter Bin Laden fight. Oh God, please. Uh, hang on. Let me find a better video. That was filmed with a potato. Bin Laden Fugitive Hunter. Why is the rap music? Okay, here it is. Here's the level, guys. We're gonna watch someone else play it, and I'm gonna find out what I did wrong. Give me a second. Let me just uh, get this on screen for you guys. And you can watch and see exactly what it is I wasn't doing right. Skip ahead a bit. All right, we we did did that. We were there. We were there. I had to jump up the rocks. What the fuck am I looking at? What is this? What is that? 
That's the radio. I thought it was a palm tree. All right, you know what? Better. I don't want to. I don't want to play this anyway. I'll just watch it. I forgot that there was a jump button. Y you weren't expecting to do any jumping platforming. But yeah, there you go. That looked like some form of tree. There's a silencer on this AK-47. Alright, we're gonna skip ahead a bit. I don't even care, I don't even care. Alright, we're in a bunker. More shooting, more shooting. Quality options, and... Here we go. The room we were in 10,000 times. Not so bad. That wasn't even. Oh god, there's there's another 15 minutes of gameplay, guys, before you get to Bin Laden. There was like another whole sequence. We're gonna skip ahead. That's not Bin Laden. That that is though. All right. So you capture him in a little cave. There's like a TV studio. There's a Hershey squirt or a Hershey kiss. Door. <laughs> Proceed to next target. I can't. This whole game's marketing scam was that you could kill Bin Laden in it. Prolific speech. Oh, I can't believe it. This game... I can't believe this game was real. Just exploiting... All of that tension. All of that... You know what? $60 to kill a virtual Bin Laden. If you did that, that's your own fault. got to use his aerials a bit more. Yeah, Scrub didn't block, didn't dodge, didn't wave dash, nothing. Yeah, I hear they actually got Bin Laden to do the voice acting for Bin Laden in this game. of Osama bin Laden, Jake Seaver reached closure on his 1999 covert mission and brought the world's most wanted fugitive to justice. And peace <laughs> was finally brought to the international community, at least for now. You, uh, did it say you are the winner? Covert mission. You are the winner, you are the winner, you are the winner. <laughs> it's, just, it's like a scrolling peace ticker at the bottom. The <laughs> <community> <laughs> what the fuck? At least for now. What a fucking horrible game! Oh, it's so bad! Okay. Alright, at least we got to see what we missed. Uh, I'm thankful for that, at least. Holy shit. You are the winner. You are the winner! Alright, guys, you need to uh, hang out for just a few minutes. That was a tough one. Not only was I going the wrong way, I thought a thing was a palm tree. Um, the cheats didn't work. It was just a mess. That was just a mess. So thank you for bearing with me on that one. But the good news is I've got more shovelware in just a few minutes. So stick around. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to grab something to drink. And I will be back with 
one, possibly two, more shovelware games. And then after that, maybe we'll play some good games. So stick around for just a little bit. Be right back. I'm back. So we go from Bin Laden to babies. Imagine babies with a Z is our next game. It's a 3DS game. That should be our tagline. That should be our tagline on Vine Sauce. Vine Sauce. We go from Bin Laden to babies.
Okay, so this is Imagine Babies, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, can you imagine what this is going to be like? Ubisoft again. So again, if you needed any any new excuses to hate on Ubisoft tonight, you're going to get your reasons. It's a 3DS game. I will be viewing this in maximum 3D for maximum babies. Did you ever wonder where the baby came from? Pasta Pazuko and the pasta churi. We're gonna put a pasta baby in your belly. Yep, English. Though something tells me it doesn't matter what language I choose. So, this is... Okay, this is a little bit limited. First of all, why can't a man play this game? That's one. Second, same character. Just various faces. Well, I'm going to go somewhere in the middle so as to be all-inclusive. limited options. Come on, I need, like, Skyrim-esque. Oh Am I really customizing? Uh, oh, this is a dark day for Vine Sauce. what you wanted. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa and this is my first day. We're expecting you. I'm with Miss Wilhelmina. <laughs> you think little girls are going to be able to read that on the first go? The agency. Miss W. I am joined by Rich Rochelle and Lisa, two of your future fugitives. <sighs> we don't need another inexperienced nanny. Don't listen to her. She's always in a bad mood. What? Why, you little... Right. Now that the presentations are done, let's just see what missions would suit you. Missions! Belmasor in France, Skyler in the US, and Bashir in India. So, Dr. Julian Bashir from Deep Space Nine is in India. What you're thinking, Rochelle? I'll give you different missions. Okay, boss. Oh, okay, I have to talk to Vanessa in private. Let's see you handle yourself, dear Vanessa. Already, already, Rochelle is my rival. I'm sensing tension. I'm getting nervous. Anxiety is rising. She needs to be brought to her knees. We need to bring her down. Oh, I thought that was like a, a way to skip through and I wanted to just get started. <sighs> Lucy, warm bath, the smell of honey. Warm bath, cold, oh my god. Yeah, I'll join this family. Things I do for love. Oh, that's a weird looking baby. In 3D, no less. It's like popping right out of the screen. Pleased to meet you. Yo, forgive my husband. He's pro preoccupied by his video game project. Yeah, okay. The wife is just covering. The dude plays video games all day and neglects his child. Ah, my son. He's soaking. Oh! 
don't be silly. He's just a bit grumpy at the moment. Do you think you could make him smile again, Vanessa? Don't worry, I'll set him back on the straight. Bath, bottle, photo. Before you give a bath, run the water temperature suits your baby. Remove stylus when you want the needle to stop. The closer the thermometer needle gets to red zone, the water, the red, red water, red, red water babies. Okay, thanks. Hi! Wash the baby's head. I have... But I don't want babies. I don't want children. Hey! Baby! Oh. Not good? You don't like this? What's wrong? You don't like soap in your eyes? That noise. Oh god, that sounds like someone... Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Take the purple glove and apply it. Apply some soap to it. Just lotion and and fapping noises. Uh, this whole game is just making me uncomfortable. Yeah, it, I'm not supposed to wash your eyeballs. Oh, that's a shame. Whoa! 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 Hold the fort. Hold the fort. <laughs> Guys, this is making me very uncomfortable. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Hold the fort! Again, I don't understand why the baby doesn't like it when I spray his eyes with water. What, you mean to tell me a 29-year-old man isn't the target audience for Imagine Babies with a Z? Well, I, I, then this is this isn't a world I want to live in. Great. Each baby has their preferences and needs. I'm I'm actually I'm really really not interested in any more of this bath stuff. I'm taking baby. Oh God. No, no, don't put it on the SD card. What are you crazy? Get me out of here. Next. <sighs> Take a photo. We did the bath too. Don't make me do another bath. There you go. You know, I always wanted to be a babysitter. Yeah, um, you think this is gonna be okay for the baby? 
take the bottle and shake it for a few seconds. Oh, God. This is just training, training people to become horrible, horrible parents. Is this not where the the bottle goes? It doesn't... Why... Look. Why does not the eyes allow me to feed? Why does not the eyes allow me to feed? Regurgitate. I don't want the baby to regurgitate. Where does Babby come from? It's too hot. It's too hot. I, I burned it. I burned the milk. Sometimes when I make the milk, I, I boil it by accident. person that sent me these th and there's very uh, like a lot of games that are similar to this in the collection that was sent to me <laughs> dear god why that's all i want to know <laughs> father of the year <laughs> father of the year <laughs> baby you're this isn't shovelware. This is just fucking uncomfortable. That's all this is. <laughs> oh my God, what am I doing with my life? Listen to these noises. I'm done. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Get me out of here. I'm done. I f I'm finished. I'm out. I'm out. I am out, son. Okay, next is a game called the Cheetah Girls. <laughs> okay. You ready? The Cheetah Girls. I know you guys are going to like this one. This is a Nintendo DS game. Yeah, the person that sent me these games, I don't know like what kind of sadistic person you are. But it worked. The Cheetah Girls Pop Star Sensations. Oh no, someone's played this. Butts has played it for zero. Well, we're going to start a new game. Sklunt Pit. Uh, story mode. Yeah, story. We'll do D.Va. Long ago, <laughs> in New York City, there lived a pop star. Her whole life, she knew she would achieve her dreams. Well, Toto, we may have... <clears throat> well, Toto, we may have a gig at the nightclub tonight. Yeah, fucking wolf. I know, Toto. It's our big chance to make it big. 
and the Big Apple. Woof. Yeah. I, oh, it's only a small teen club, but we have to start somewhere. Yo. Galleria? Hey, Chuchi, my diva sister. Sister? Galleria, where are you? <laughs> We're supposed to meet Dorinda and Aqua. <laughs> meet me downtown over an hour ago. <laughs> an hour ago, you mean 11 a.m.? Um, Galleria, it's noon. Whoa, girl! Whoa, girl! Oh my gosh, I must have overslept. I was up all night writing our song for tonight. Okay, inconsistency. A group of pop stars writing their own songs. Wait a minute, what is this? Well, we don't have the gig yet. We have to head to the club and talk to the owner. Better hook us up with the others downtown. Bye. Thanks, Chanel. I forgot I'm gonna need to bring sheet music. It must be in my room somewhere. Guys, was she a fucking ghost? Guys, she just left her body. What kind of message is this giving little girls? That it's okay to astral project? That MIDI trumpet in my right ear can go fuck itself hard. Missing a page. Uh-oh. What a problem. It's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> that fucking trumpet. Did the dog eat it? Did, did Toto just hide something in his bed? Toto pissed all over it. Talk to Toto. Yeah, I know. I'm getting... How does she know what the dog's saying? Why don't I get a translation? Later. She just gave a sassy a later to her dog. Oh no. Oh gosh, Toto, you didn't. Woof, woof, you motherfucker. I know you like music, but not for breakfast. Eh, fucking whimper. I gotta rewrite this page before I can meet the girl. Use the keyboard to rewrite. I don't know what song she wrote on this keyboard. What the fuck is this? It's an each, me each measure. After the measure is played, notes will appear. Copy by sight. Oh. All right, just just go. I'll figure it out. Why is the dog? I, but I didn't. I fucked it up. In music, you can't get 1% wrong. Cheetalicious. It was just one note. dog is trying to break through to this realm. The dog is trying to break through. Whoops. Good. There's no room for getting a note wrong. That's not good. Like, if you go to a fucking concert, and, and they're getting like 25% of their music wrong, you wouldn't be good. It would sound like shit. Oh, 
I want to free him from his prison, guys. I can't do it. I have to punch through the screen. I wasn't paying attention. I was busy looking at the dog. Cheetah sister! Yeah, 87 is not good enough in music. Oh, this is wretched. I need to change. She needs to change, guys. She just so happens to have clothes in her backpack. Oh my god, that looks so fucking weird. Just, she doesn't look like- she looks like an alien. It, lo it doesn't look human. The walk animation doesn't look human either. I'm- I'm gonna say that this is not a real person. And that this is an alien invented to... Just, you know... Now that I'm styling, I'm ready to go. That's hmm. not what I put her on. Oh, leaving. No! They just slide. They just slide across the floor. She wants to lecture me on being dependable, but Mom, I gotta get ready to meet the girls. No butts. If you'll give me a second here, guys, this is important. I'll show you what I mean. She'll just, uh, bear with me for just a moment. Quality stream. Quality stream. Just for you. The trumpet knows. It's bad enough. I have to remind you to do your chores. The packages. There was a problem with delivery service. They mixed up the packages. I'm sorry, Mom. Tell the rest of the cheetahs to keep an eye out on the packages. We'll keep an eye out. All right. Let's see, uh, can I? I want to go outside and, and explore. I want to see the world map. Get me outside. Fuck. Find your address book. I want to see the world map. God, who's this? Dove nella cucina? Ah, Galleria. La mia filia. Hey, Papa, what's cooking? Or should I say what's not cooking? Is this her dad? See, si, see, si, I'm trying to make kitchen... Uh, chicken cacciatore, but Mama rearranged all the food. I don't know where the, all the ingredients are. Not busy, sorry. Ah, capish. I understand that you have other things. I guess I'll manage somehow. Is it in here? Nope, I got some olive oil though. <laughs> Garlic? Alright, good. Well, I just shortchanged him ingredients that he needs. to look at. Please be the address book. It's not, it's a gallery. Hmm. What a great photograph of me and the girls. That's not... It's not the address book. Did Toto eat my address book? I didn't buy this, no. People... 
send me games every now and then. There it is. Save the number so you can call your friends at any time. What do you mean? It's called a cell phone. Or is this game... When was this game made, anyway? Call Chanel. Gonna call her for... Oh, yeah, look, look. Why do you need... Oh, uh, whatever. Voice... Tap the voice dial button. Chanel! It worked. It fucking worked. Chuchi, I've got music. I'm on the way to meet the girls. I'm outside the dance club. Uh, keep in touch. Good luck. Thanks, Bubbles. Okay, I'm now Chanel. How am I ever going to get to the club owner in time? Well, time to use my, um, my assets. Give him a few Benjamins. You know? She's going to have to think hard about how she's going to get ahead of everyone. How about she just walks in front of everyone? Hi. Hey, I know you want to get into the club, but you have to wait in line just like everyone else. But my, my boobs. No exception to the end of the line. No. You again. In case you still haven't noticed, there's still a line of people waiting to get in. I'll get to the end of the line. Hey. Later. Later. Galleria? Call Gal Galleria. <laughs> Future superstar Galleria Garibaldi. I would. Oh, I hate that so much. I. Uh, this game. Oh, this. <laughs> That was Aqua. This is Aquanetta. Y'all know what they say in Texas. Leave a message. Aquanetta. Is that a real name? Anyone here named Aquanetta? Oh, I tried to cut the line. Yeah, put some PVC piping. Gum. I thought she was gonna bribe the dude, but no, no, she's she's like MacGyver. She's got a plan. She's gonna do something. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Go to the back of the what do, what do I have? A pipe with gum on it? can't actually do anything with this object. Like, I have it, but I, I can't do anything with it. There's a quarter beneath the grate. Oh. Yep, so my character just magically knew that <laughs> she needed to make a pipe gum device to get the quarter that she didn't know was there to go to the vending machine and get a bag of pretzels. How's this gonna play out? Alright, we've got pretzels now. You want pretzels? No? Okay, never mind. How about you? You want pretzels? Hey. Mmm, pretzels. Hey, young lady, I'll let you have my spot if you give me those delicious pretzels. <laughs> Alright, so he just gave up trying to get into the club hey. because of the pretzels. 
Can't you see I'm on the phone with my friend? We're talking about Jeffrey. Who the fuck is Jeffrey? My name is Laura. I'm talking to my friend. Concerning my to-be boyfriend, Jeffrey. Now leave me alone. <gasps> Must have fallen out of the girl's purse. Maybe I could use this to get her out of the line. I should try giving him a call. Oh shit, we're gonna call Jeffrey. 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 <laughs> Aquanetta. <laughs> Fuck off with that name. Jeffrey. No! Hello. Jeffrey. I, I, Yo. what? The what? The what? Hi, this is Jeffrey Speaker. Hey Jeffrey, my name is Chanel. You don't know me, but I want... I know someone who really wants to talk to you. Her name is Laura. I mean, go brown hair and brown eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, that appears to match your description. Sweet, we trying to get together with her for much. <laughs> well, she won't stop talking about you, and I mean that literally. Uh, now it's my chance. I should give her a call. Thanks for that. No problem. Hold on, Christy. I'm receiving another call. Hello? Jeffrey! I can't believe it. Me, you're at the red, red crab for dinner? <laughs> I'm on my way! That worked out. I almost feel bad for that guy, Jeffrey, though. Um, excuse me. Hey, I think you're getting ahead of me. You're out of your mind. I'm sure that my girlfriend wanted to go to this, sir, uh, dance club. You don't seem so sure. Unfortunately, I'm not. My girlfriend wanted to meet me here at some location, but I can't remember where. I don't want to call her because she will be mad that I have forgotten. It sounds like this hasn't been the first time. Please, will you have to help me? Three places. Can't remember what they were. First place had Popcorn. Yep, movies. Supposed to get some place that had cotton candy. Carnival. No, she he doesn't know that you can get cotton candy at a carnival. He she needed help with that. Some place to do with steaks. Of course, steaks. Nice restaurant. Now I know exactly where to take my girlfriend. Thank you for helping me remember. Amazing. Amazing. Can't just let you in here. I have to speak with the club owner. Your name? I'm Chanel. I'm representing the Cheetah Girls! Cheetah. Cheetah. I don't see the name here. It has to be scheduled to see. I scheduled to I scheduled to see Mr. Rockwell. Sorry, if you aren't on the list, I can't let you get through. We have to be on that list somewhere. Please let me see that list. Uh, okay. Guys, do you see this? Do you see what I'm looking at right now? Do you fucking... Do you... Do you see this? This motherfucker didn't even look at the list. Well, I'll be. It was folded up all along. I'm really sorry about that. His office is up the stairs to the right. I can't handle any more of this, guys. We just found a letter. We just found a letter. Hi. Hello, Mr. I'm a very busy man. If you have something for me, then hurry up. Otherwise, there's the door. My name is Chanel. I'm here to represent uh, the Cheetah Girls, correct? Yes. 
I've heard local rumors about you winning the new Voices Festival in Barcelona. Oh, please. Congratulations. Uh, becoming well known in Manhattan is no easy task. It's hard to stamp out, stand out with so many people in the city. Perform at the club tonight. Good opportunity for you to get it noticed. 8 p.m. Hold your horses. Pay proper audition. All right, seats, responsibility. This will be the last task I do. This audition thing. I have to call the cheetah girls. Aqua, baby. Aqua. Need the song you wrote. What do you want me to do? Run it over here quickly. I think we will get there. We have to think of another way. Fax it. So you want to have a fax machine? Yeah, there's one on the other side of the room. Oh my god, just fucking do the thing. Oh! Oh, that is ear piercing. Is he just gonna read it? Just kidding, I love doing that. Okay, uh, sing away. I have to sing the song. Yeah, you're you're implying... Okay, she can read music, sure. Blow, sing, hum, tap the microphone, or press B as the bubble scroll by, scroll by, guys. Match the bubble when it lines over to fill the hole. Sing it, sister. to match the timing I don't have to do anything special I could just keep on talking whatever voice I so choose I can go Guys, I did spectacular. Definitely have some potential. A a imagine I went on stage and fucking did that. Spectacular. We got the gig from that. Well, I don't think it's going to get any better from that. That's probably as good as you're going to get. So I think I'm going to stop playing this now. It's time to leave. 
Oh, wait, no, 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 we gotta call her first. Uh, how? How? We got the gig. Thanks, Cheetalicious. That's Cheetalicious. Yeah, downtown to speak to the other girls. Okay, here we go, Manhattan, guys. This is realistic. Oh, I remember that part of Manhattan. That's all of Central Park in a cab. Hey. I made it to the world map. Getting clothing and stuff together. I just want to go out walk into the street real quick, if I can. Yeah, we got the gig. Derek's band was in Spain. Don't tell no need to panic. It's not letting me cross the street. How considerate of the game. How long do I have to wait here for a cab to come? Alright, this is where I, I draw the line. Uh, I can't do any more of this, guys. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry to get you laugh. All right. Well, that's tonight's shovelware showcase. I don't know what any of these games have in common. Next time on Shovelware Showcase, I've got a few more things to show you guys. Um, we're going to do some Wii games and some GameCube games. Um, yeah, you know what? I actually have a theme, but... I'm not going to be able to put it together until I do another shovelware. Um, yeah, I've got another one for the Wii that, that, that'll that fit nicely. Primo. And then I have... Um, let's see, I have a GameCube game here. I've got another... Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, This the, the next one's going to be good. It won't be as long. I'll just say that much. Between now and the next shovelware... It could happen in two weeks, three weeks. But I think two weeks is a safe bet. Next week we'll do some other stuff, and then the week after I'll try to do shovelware. So that way we have I have enough to make a video out of. Maybe two videos, actually. That's what Shovelware, usually I just stream to stream. If it's good, it's a video sometimes. If it's not that great, then it's just what it is. You know, I leave it and it's on full sauce, but a highlight video is usually for something that is exceptionally worthy. However, Shovelware Showcase, it's almost always, you know, I choose the best ones, put three of them together, it's a video. That's just kind of what this is. And um, I think it's kind of fun to do it that way as a reverse for a change. So that's what you can expect. Um, I think I have two games that will fit the theme of this next one and I have another theme as well so it should be fun uh, I'll save those for next time though today you got some really bad ones next time I don't know could be just as bad could be worse could be not as bad but today you got ET that's pretty bad so stick around for a little bit um, I'm gonna be right back with um what time is it it's quarter after one um i guess i can do majora's mask <laughs> 